The snow is causing big delays at the airport tonight. More than 100 flights have been canceled and dozens delayed. Uh, things are tricky on the roadways as well. If you've already made it home from work, you're certainly one of the lucky ones. A lot of other people are struggling. It's taking quite a while to get there. Here's a live look from the traffic management cameras at Highway 169 northbound and 49th Avenue in New Hope. And we're happy that Allie Lucia is in here keeping an eye on things for us. Boy, your map is so colorful. Yes, yes it has been such a messy, messy afternoon commute. And as you look at our overall map, you can see a lot of orange, a lot of red uh, for drivers, which means a slow commute. And we've seen a lot of accidents, especially along 494 in the Woodbury area. Let's show you some drive times tonight for those of you who are waiting for loved ones to get home right now, 169, 28 minutes from 394 to 694. That is the longest commute we're seeing right now. For those of you that maybe live in the Brooklyn Park area, you're going to be waiting a while for someone to get home. 35E right now, 12 minutes from 694 into St. Paul. And then your commute in between the two cities right now from Minneapolis to St. Paul, 14 minutes. Our drive times are picking up in between the two cities. So that is good news for those of you that are waiting for anyone to get home. And as we look, one final look at our overall map. It's still looking a little messy. Now, I want to go live to Kate Ranitz, who is in our mobile weather watcher right now. Kate, what do the roads look like where you are? Hi, Allie. Well, right now we're headed east on 394 in Golden Valley. I'll show you what it looks like out here. To be honest, not a lot of cars on the road right now. It looks a lot different than when we checked in at 5 o'clock. I think so many people knew this storm was coming. It seems a lot of them may have left uh, work early or just stayed home altogether. But two things that made this storm, makes this storm so tricky for MnDOT, the wind and the timing, because this did fall smack dab during this rush hour. For many people traveling, they just avoided the roads altogether. This seems a little bit more easier. When Patricia Tony saw snow in today's forecast, she knew she'd be catching the light rail to work. I would not drive in this, no. No, so I would prefer to take the bus or either the train, yes. The Minnesota State Patrol says there were 175 crashes between 6 a.m. and 3 p.m. The threat of a snowy commute prompted many drivers to choose public transportation. Metro Transit saw a spike in their North Star train ridership, up 17% today. The train honestly is faster than driving most days. All 132 Metro Transit routes, as well as the green and blue line light rails, are operating through the storm. However, there can be delays. Meanwhile, MnDOT has 200 plows out in the metro working around the clock to help drivers. Because our trucks can only move as fast as the plows are, or the traffic is moving. They're hoping the snow will wrap up before midnight to give time to get ready for tomorrow's commute. But if it snows until 3, 4, 5 in the morning, then it could be a problem. Taking a live look again, uh, headed east on 394 in Golden Valley, headed into uh, Minneapolis here. You can see a couple uh, cars on the road. We are going very slow, about 30 miles an hour right now. A lot of red lights, still a lot of slick spots. Any delays, if you are taking the light rail or buses, those will be posted on Metro Transit's Twitter page. They are also asking riders to be aware that their platforms are very slippery, slippery right now. They also said that they know people often want to wear hoodies or, uh, uh, you know, hats in, during the snowstorm. And they said a lot of times that can block your peripheral vision. So just to be aware when you are waiting uh, for those to be safe. All right, all good tips. Kate Raditz, thank you very much. Live in our mobile weather watcher.